Welcome, I'm Eleanor and I'm going to be taking you on a whistle-stop tour of women in the music industry. I'll be talking to three amazing female talents of the music industry today and I can't wait to find out more. First up we have Reva Taylor, a singer-songwriter. Her music is described as adult contemporary. If you love dynamics and beautiful lyrics, take a listen. She will be talking to me about how the music industry has physically changed and how it has affects her as an artist. Tapes. Have you seen anything change within the industry? It has changed massively. We have so much music now. We had loads of music before, but really all we knew was the music that we saw. Um, not on social media or anything. There was, you know, there wasn't this middle ground. When I was signed, there was no such thing as social media, obviously streaming. There were three ways that you could be promoted television, print, press, radio. In a sense, it all seemed a lot easier when streaming started coming in. Um, labels suddenly didn't make the money that they once did. So A, they didn't start invest, they didn't invest in many artists. They started taking a bigger revenue. So an artist obviously lost that control. Um, uh, but on the flip side as well, um, technology meant that artists could make their own music. Meet Marissa, a female lead in the band The Night I Burned. She specialises in metal music and will be talking about male dominancy within the music industry. I feel like um, the metal industry is like a very male dominated genre then, would you say? It is. Yeah. It is like, even for the fact of listeners as well it's like the amount of times where i've heard like oh women can't do battle screaming and i'm just like bitch hold my vodka and coke my, <laughs> my favorite story is that so we overheard um someone who's like oh women can't scream he was wearing a nightwish t-shirt who have a female vocalist what made it even better was for the fact of it's like i went over and went Look, it's like my band's playing next. It, um, it's like, when, when you come and have a look, and I bet I can prove you wrong. He's like, yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. He, he watched us, it's like, for the entire set, his jaw was on the floor. And then he came running over after we got off stage, and he was like, I didn't know women can scream. And but for the fact of just putting sexists in their places, just always a, like a, ha ha, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, we have Jess. She has appeared in many West End musicals and she is also a singing coach for an academy. She will be discussing the competitiveness of the music industry. How competitive was like the auditioning process? I'm not even going to sugarcoat it, it's horrible. But you've got the mums floating around like, and going, um, my daughter's the best, oh, excuse me, I need some room for my daughter, I need to be able to do her hair. Oh, this industry looks so incredible, but I was like, is this what they're really like? Like these, these aren't people. I hope this documentary has given you an insight into the women in the music industry. Take a look at the three women I've interviewed and go and check out their music. They're gonna be making some noise. <laughs>